Yeah. Now we can start our conversation. Yeah, absolutely. As we are meeting first time, so first of all, I would like to about yourself. I would like to know about yourself. Okay. So, ma'am, my name is Pravan Madhesya. I belong from, you know, Uttar Pradesh. If I talk about my education, my qualification, I have done my graduation, which is Bachelor in Science and Mathematics. And since then, I'm preparing for government jobs. Along with that, I do run a YouTube channel, which is totally based on a spoken English conversation. If I talk about my leisure time, in my leisure time, I do self-discovery research. I love to listen audio podcasts and love to see video podcasts. This is all about me. And I would also like to know from yourself because you know, I don't know also. So you can also introduce yourself. Yeah. I'm Tanya. I'm living in Rajasthan and here I'm living with my family. I'm a homemaker. Apart from this, I am running a YouTube channel also. This is all about me. Okay. It's a very short introduction. Yes. <laughs> you yes, didn't tell about your qualification. Post graduation from uh, from uh, Merit University. And post okay, post post graduation in what? Political science. Wow, that's but great. I was a science student, but I was a science ah. student. I have done BSc also. Oh my God, that's great! I think a lot of people done their graduation in any other subject and they do their you know post graduation in other subjects because as we get matured we change our mindset and we change the subject also like you know i have done my bsc general physics chemistry mathematics but now that i am i wanted to do my ma in english also so we can't say that uh, like since our childhood we are unable to find out what's our hobbies is which subjects we like so much but as we becomes matured we are able to find out our hobbies and then we find out our real subject that we want to learn and then we take admission in those subjects. So this is, I think, normal and common nowadays. But changing subject was a specific region. That time, uh, I have decided that I will uh, crack UPSC exam and I have already, I have also given that exam. And How? you know, when you are taking science subject, it is very difficult to crack UPSC exam. So uh, that time I have changed my mind that I should take uh, political science. It will help me. Yeah, but I have don't think that uh, science. Have you heard? Yeah, of yeah. yeah. Rajendra yeah. Delhi. So yeah. many aspirants every year come for preparation. Okay, that is the nice. Why I change my subject? Okay, but I don't think, ma'am, uh, science is the reason that uh, if you have science, you can't clear UPSC exam. Yes, it is true that UPSC is based on humanity subject. And I was there for the four months in Mukherjee Nagar, but I was there for the SSC. I think I have also gone there for uh, UPSC preparation, but due to, you know, a lot of fees and uh, like the expenses were there a lot of like rent and mess and also the pollution, the pollution, which we can't deny it. So, having seen those all things, I was there for four months, but uh, there were a lot of problems I was facing. So, I changed my mindset and I take admission into SSC Seasons and then I came back to my home and I'm taking my classes in online mode. But yeah, it's true that, you know. Out, outsider, then it is difficult to stay in Delhi. Yeah, if you are not belonging mm, from already Delhi, then I think like mm, from where I belong, I, I I lived in a village where everything is very clear, environment and all those things. But uh, when I indulge into Delhi, when I put my first, you know, leg into Delhi, I started feeling like breathing problem, hair loss problem and health issues I started facing. So those things, I, I think that it was not a worth of, you know, losing your life in front of a job, in front of a coaching institute and all those things. So I skipped. Yeah. But uh, I belong from Delhi and CR, so it was uh, easy for me. <laughs> Sorry for, you know, telling the truth about your city, but this is the truth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we can start <laughs> our conversation. The topic is... Obviously. Uh, uh, pros, or, pros and uh, cons of social media. First you start, after that I will start. First we will take uh, 
part of cross after that we will talk about disadvantages in this way. okay that's great okay so uh social media social media i think is a term which is used to describe a wide range of information and there is there is a lot of scope to communicate people sharing photos videos and a lot of things and also uh, if i talk about like this advantage if i talk about yeah yeah so uh, so we are now going to start with the advantage of you know, like social media so there are a lot of advantages of social media is there uh, if i talk in, we can't just put the points that this advantage this advantage but uh, now i am going to mentioning the most important points the most important benefits or the advantages are there of social media okay so the first thing about the uh, advantage of social media what i think is we can share our thoughts our culture our behavior and also i think social media is a place where uh, i can people can show their talents so they are whatever the, they have learned onto the social media and in this way they can earn money as well like there are a lot of platforms like facebook youtube instagram and twitter these are the i think the most important place where people are nowadays are there also the linkedin because linkedin is also a place where a lot of people create their accounts and show their talents like if there is a people who do graphic designing he can create a portfolio he can create all the works he is doing and he can show if he show on the linkedin there are a lot of people the company of the manager ceo and all of a lot of people if they see if they like the work they can connect to the people and they can you know hire for the job so in this way i think uh, there are a lot of advantages and if i talk about the other aspects also so, so like for, for me if i am a student so if i see the educational purpose of the social media there are a lot of wide range of you know knowledge whatever your field is whatever your interest is you can learn through the youtube which is free of cost there is not a need of a single penny money to pay but the problem is you know along with the advantage there are the disadvantage like if i go to the interest of learning a subject but there are a lot of distraction also so we have to keep the momentum our like to shift our momentum only to the advantages that i have to learn only and do not to be this uh, like um destruct because it is possibly done that you ha- you can dis- disturb uh, you can destruct with some other problem because a lot of contents are there so you have to find out your areas what is your area what do you like you know there was a report i think in in united states where the people uh, with the age of 13 to 17 they have faced you know body type image you know body issue image where people started comparing themselves to the other and it leads to the suicide stress low self esteem and sometimes you know people get depressed also so this is also a part of you know the social media there are a lot of people who can just you know put their thoughts learning and their culture and i think it can be a place historic place also like nowadays we are learning what was our history for the old people what they told about us like he, our uh, how our uh, you know ancestor was so i think after coming 100 or 50 years our generation can go to the, our profile and they can see what was our culture what was our thoughts on the you know real topics okay and you know why i use facebook if i talk about individuality in a particular way i use facebook to read lot of articles there are a lot of people who are very great who are very you know you can say the expert in their field they read lot of topic there are a lot of taboo in the society like feminism secularism there are a lot of things you know like you 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 have to pay for the upsc so you know about all those things so i read those things and i i, I think when i started you know there are a lot of things when i distract on the facebook also but i think lot of when i get some mature when i get some maturity i started reading the good things that can help me to you know feel myself to give you know add some value in me also you know in facebook there are lots of videos there so i learn lot of things like i am working nowadays for spoken english communication skills personality development so i watch a lot of videos there from the pakistan from the united states from the britain you know in india there are a lot of people they upload videos so from there i learn if i started you know putting points there are a lot of points so i think these are the major topics that i can see yeah if i talk about the advantage only yeah 
advantage are so many but there are so many disadvantage also you know yeah. we all have children and they have no uh, you can say they are very innocent they can't understand what is the use of uh, these social media platforms or misuse sometimes by mistake children also compare uh like uh, some some uh, children are very famous of social media like they are uh, they are doing very good dance they are singing after that our child also do uh, competition yeah they are comparing they are comparing yeah. yeah they also compare by looks by talent yeah yeah despite this they are um, uh, despite this they are not thinking that they are good in education they are good in uh, some more activities but they are comparing that child is very good in dance that child uh, this girl has very good looks so our children are very easily uh, you can say uh, they are very easily um, yeah destroyed. get distracted yeah so they get distracted very they easily are during this time they are unnecessary reels i think uh, yeah. in every family most of the parents are very you can say complaining their child are spending so much time <laughs> on mobile tablet laptop and the second problem is uh, we all know that there is a blue light effect yeah in every yeah. device it emitted when they yeah. are using this their eyes are affected they are going to red and dry skin yeah, is also yeah. affected sometimes yeah. they are facing a uh, forgotten problem forget problem also because they are not focusing anything and children are also facing you know, you can say in academic performance they are not doing good yeah. academic performance yeah yeah so these are the disadvantages of this the social media yeah absolutely yeah. you put so much you know so nice points that first of all and you know people the most important thing the most disadvantage of social media like we and you um, me and you both are youtuber but i have set something uh, you can say some settings so nobody can give me some abusing words you can say when somebody uh, commenting on their video somebody are uh, yeah. doing you can say very bad words yeah yeah so sometime we and our children also facing the cyber bullying yeah yeah it happens it happens when people show their talents they show their skills on the platforms to know about themselves so a lot of people who don't know anything who don't do anything in their life they started doing you know bad comments wrong comments so we should i think hide or we should try to you know there are some uh, youtube gives us to allow to uh, yeah. to do not let those comments come on youtube so you can we, we can on those things but i think uh, the uh, as well as the reels problem we are talking about i think in the age of 14 to 18 19 which is called the indocence age so i think at those times students are not very much mature they don't know about their life like what we have to do but nowadays i think there are a lot of student who know what is right who what is wrong and yeah it's also that you know every everything has their pros and cons so uh, there are a lot of pros there of social media you know just because of social media we are connecting here and talking to each other you are in the rajasthan i am in the up and but but the problem is that we have to tell the student that turn to comparison comparison is the thing that is happening nowadays people show someone who is very much rich so they want to become a rich in a very you know early age very very soon and it is not going to happen because it takes a lot of time people so on social media on instagram only their what they like how they looks what is their appearance so they don't show what is the you know other sides they only show the positive sides of the life they don't show the negative sides of the life like how is trauma they facing how is problem they facing how is struggle they have done to go at that only people when they you know purchase a car they upload on the video but they don't so those places how they earn that money so so student have to understand those things and i think in our syllabus in our education system this thing should be included so that student can know that okay instagram is a good thing but also at the same time there are some negative sides also so i think we can we can only do is we can aware to the our kids our friends and our you know young people so awareness is the one thing we can save
the student because you know sometimes procrastination happens adding, yeah. one drawback i'm also adding that good news taking time to spreading but if there is a misleading news you can say false news yeah. rumors it is yeah, spreading yeah. instantly and after that yeah. we can face so many uh, bad things there are so many rights there are the examples of uh, rumors yeah it's it's very true that sometimes we we you know miss miss news can create a polarization in the society we can't get the real news but at the same time we can say that there are a lot of news you know at the old time what happens if you want to publish a news you have to go to the you know news place you you have to go to the newspaper and then the newspaper uh, you know author or malik whatever you can say they decide whether this news should be published or not but nowadays you can create your own account and you can share your news your thoughts whatever happens with you whether it is wrong whether it is right you know there is a twitter on twitter there is a space in in a space a people create a space where a lot of people you know comes in that space and anyone can tell about their problem anyone can raise the voice and the opinion about their society or whatever the you know wrong you know a lot of polarization happening nowadays you know some people take the the one one people takes like a lot of people you know doing wrong or right you can tell your thoughts to the one place and from there you can publish your thoughts and through twitter people can help you whether like if you are facing any wrong or right thing but yeah it's true that the miss news is a lot of there on social media if you are not aware if you are not very much aware then you are going to facing the polarization you are going to facing the wrong news like in Sometimes covid times also confused that which news is correct and which news is false news very difficult yeah. sometimes yeah you know authentication is the one thing that yeah. on on twitter earlier what is happening the if you are authentic if you are publishing real news only then your account will get the blue tick but nowadays if you are paying some money you can also yeah. get the blue tick and you can easily spread the misinformation because nowadays twitter is you know twitter is uh, yes, being yes, considered yes, yes. by the Yeah, Elon Musk have purchased the Twitter and he is doing whatever he wants. Everyone is getting blue ticks and they are saying whatever they wants. So there should be a criteria, there should be a limits through the government that you can't do these things. So that's what I am. What I think, um, some I think the low self esteem is depression, anxiety, and sleeplessness. When you started watching reels, you compl- you don't have an idea that you have spent your two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Sleeping so this thing could be also disrupted. Sleeping patterns. Yeah. Also dis- so this thing should be avoided. Yeah. So what what do you think? What is the conclude? Uh, what is the conclude conclusion of these all things? What do you think? What what what, what you can say? Is whether that we should use this, but uh, <laughs> uh, you can say. इस बात को ध्यान में रख करके कि मतलब कितना हमें यूज करना है एक स्क्रीन टाइम वी शुड डिसाइड बिकॉज़ वी आर एडल्ट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट आवर चिल्ड्रन आर वेरी लिटिल सो आई आई थिंक दैट वी शुड एजुकेट देम इन अ बेटर वे या 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 मेन प्रॉब्लम इज द चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज़ एडल्ट्स आर यू नो वेरी इंटेलिजेंट बट चिल्ड्रन आर नॉट वेरी इंटेलिजेंट यू नो टॉडलर्स आर आल्सो यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन they are always eating by seeing some cartoon by watching some cartoon if you are not giving them mobile they are not eating yeah this is the one problem you know they are not eating if you if you are not giving him the mobile but nowadays lot of you know small child are learning so much thing to the youtube or through the phone but don't give the phone access to the every time to your kids give them only when you are mistake, there sometime by yeah. mistake children uh, you can say post some uh, uh, you can say very confidential information yeah 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 i missed there are a lot of these students yeah so i i think i think we we should keep a balance balance is what we can say we have to yeah. keep a balance while using our social media platform otherwise there are a lot of things that is very much beneficial of social media like a lot of people they are writing blogging a lot of people are doing influencing like if you are you know if you are a influencer you can promote a product and you can earn money and at the same time company can also increase their sales so if i and talk about the started so you know skills also we can learn so many yeah. skills also yeah absolutely you know right now if i am speaking a little bit of english 
if i am learning like uh, i have done a course of personality development this all things i have done totally free of course these all things i didn't learn in my school in my when i was in my graduation actually i belong from my area where i have done all my schooling and even my graduation from the hindi medium schools so whatever i have learned i have learned through the youtube you know so so i can't deny you can't deny the fact that social media has a lot of benefits a lot of potential that you can learn but yeah at the same time we can't even avoid this thing there are some negative sides also i think it was a very good conversation i think it was a very good debate pros and cons yeah. of social media and we yeah, have yeah, so it's... many factors like cyber bullying do like effect yeah. some misleading informations privacy there are so many yeah, body... we have discussed yeah, but... Yeah, bullying, body type images like people comparing themselves. Yeah, a lot of lot of things. Threatening. Yeah. I think we have discussed yeah. many factors. Yeah, I think it's enough for today. We can do more and more because it's a. We can't say that it's a topic that can be ended in thirty minutes. It can be ended in one hour because it can take a lot of times. Yeah. But I think for today's session, it is enough. Yeah, that that's what I was saying. For today, I think it's enough. We can do an another session with you, ma'am. Okay, so tonight really I'll be watching you. Conversation with you, and I think yeah. I, I, if I get time again, I will um, bring a new topic. Definitely, I uh, sure, sure. I will be very, you know, I I will appreciate if you give me another topic to do discussion. I am always ready. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Till then, bye bye. Bye. Have a nice day.